Що ж, бажаю вам наснаги і в подальших матчах з Люксембургом. Студія. So FIFA 21 has landed, and I know for a fact that you want a sweaty team. So if you head over to Ayoha right now, link in description, and use my discount code GONF, you'll get a discount. So if you haven't already guessed, we are back with the legendary, the very legendary squad builders. Today we are going to be taking a look at some of the most inappropriate and dodgy moments in football. And I want to thank this guy you've seen on the screen for simply leaving a comment in the comments below. If you lot want to win yourself a £50 game card to go and spend on Xbox or PlayStation, all you got to do is leave a comment right now. And of course, we're better we're going to start in today's video than Aguero. Now, this is a, a, a talking point, which I like. I don't actually think it was that deep, but there's people that, that want Aguero killed. They want him dead. They want him thrown in the river. They want him hung, drawn, and quartered for touching a referee's neck. I'm gonna let you make what you want of this. But I mean, in my opinion, there's just not a lot in it. But we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to call it inappropriate because it's what people are saying. But I want your lot opinion. Do you think it was that deep? Or do you think Aguero needs a break? Let's not, let, let's not kill him. Let's not rip his neck off. Let's not put him on death row. And we've also got Jordan Pickford. Because in the same weekend, Jordan Pickford Ended Van Dyke season. Literally, it's over. Van Dyke, goodbye. Thanks, man. It, it was great knowing you. It was, it was honestly, it was amazing. You done, you've done really good for Liverpool for the last few years, but this season you're done. You're finished. Liverpool fans, you must be fuming. You must want to kill this guy. Like, honestly, you must want him dead. They call him Dinosaur Arms for a reason. He's gonna need more than Dinosaur Arms and Scousers catch this guy, because. They're angry. He's did, you can say his intention, you can say it's an accident. Either way, what Jordan Pickford has done, he goes down as an Evertonian hero for that because he's literally wiped out their number one man. Bro, this goalkeeper's moving mad. He completely and utterly just butchers the penalty spot. The penalty taker steps up, takes the penalty, slips on his ass, and Hitch goes down as a hero. No, 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 I'm done. No, I'm done, I'm done with this, I'm done. You cheating little bastard. You can smile all you want, mate. You're a little loser. That is disgusting behavior. I don't even care if you support August Berg or whatever team he played for at the time. You couldn't have thought that that was fair. That stinks. And then over to the other side, we got a dude called David Abraham, who I'm not going to be nasty, mate. I'm not, I'm not being funny in any sort of way, but you look about 70. He looks like he's just come out of a coal mine. He's stinking. Like his face is actually dirty. I mean, this is just weird. I don't know if he had some sort of vendetta or the manager shagged his wife the night before or something, but he was out to kill the manager. The manager's like in his 60s. He could have gave him a heart attack or something. Probably broke a few of his bones. Gave him arthritis, I don't know. But mate, David Abraham sprang towards him, gave him an American style shoulder badge and oh, literally broke about six of the guy's bones. Some say that guy isn't even a manager anymore. He can't even speak. He broke his jaw and killed him nearly. David Abraham moving mad. And we got to move up to the midfield and we have our first female of the squad builder. It's Marco Verratti. I don't care what you say. I've heard it. I've heard enough. This guy isn't a male. Like, that is not a man. That's a female, bro. He's got female features. That's, that, that's a lesbian, bro. And his actions kind of speak for themselves. What is? What even is this? I've never actually seen anyone do this on a professional football pitch. He done something you do in school, playing football on, on a school pitch. What are you doing, bro? He's leaned over and no, you can't do that. Did any of you used to play cooler in the street where you like you know, cooler rules? You'd head the ball back to your goalkeeper. The guy's done this in a professional football match. Got himself a yellow card, and honestly. Looks like a complete and utter donut. A, a big crispy cream donut variety. If you ever do that again, honestly, I'm, it'll be me who gives you a slap. Honestly, you'll be getting a backhand. Deli Ali, who likes to swear at people. Yeah? Deli Ali, he's one of those, he just don't care. He don't care, and if you look at him the wrong way, he might just give you one of those. That's what Deli Ali does. Some say he was doing this at his own teammate. Oh, I'm not having it. I reckon he saw someone in the crowd. Give him a dirty look and he just started, you know, throwing up the M&M fingers and that, bro. You know, the way Daddy Ali did it was kind of bent as well. It was like this. Like, bro, at least throw out the finger, you know, M&M style. What are you saying? 
Like, you know, like, you know, like that prefect in school, bro. Like, bro, come on, G. But either way, I don't know what he was thinking. I think he got fined for that as well. How could we ever forget Neymar? How could you ever, ever forget Neymar? This is one of the funniest guys on a football pitch. Sometimes he's a sulky little bitch. Sometimes he's funny and sometimes he's damn right disrespectful. This was hilarious. The way he goes to like help him up and then like just fakes it, dummies it and then runs off laughing his head off. The other guy didn't, no one, but the other team did not find this funny. They were actually mad. And he's just there chuckling away while he jogs off. Honestly, Neymar, he, he can be mean. Just because he's like one of the best players in the world don't mean that he won't troll you and laugh in your face while he does it. We've got that Russian. No, actually we've got that. Is he from Poland? No, he's not even from... Where is he from, bro? He's from... He's from Ukraine. I should have known that. I should... Russia. I called him Russian, Polish, Eastern European, Ukrainian. Zinchenko, for some reason, likes to kiss reporters. Mad. I don't know the ins and outs of this. I don't know if he actually got done for sexual harassment, sexual assault. He's dodgy, bro. He's just gripped her, and you can see the whole interview. He's waiting to go and kiss her, and he just boom, kaboom, just dives in and gives her a big peck on the cheek. Zinchenko moving, man. I know for a fact though, the night before he was smashing that. He bent that over, and he was enjoying that because there's no way he'd have the confidence to go in for a kiss unless he knew something that we didn't know. Alan McGregor, welcome to the squad builder. You're never going to go in any other squad builder of mine other than a disrespectful or a... For some reason, you've made an asshole of yourself. So congratulations, Alan, and welcome to the team. You're looking great today, mate. You're looking great. Alan McGregor, actually, mid-game, fly kicked someone for no reason. Yeah, he did that. He just fly kicked someone. And I'm pretty sure he got away with it as well. Absolute John Bull is what we're going to call you. Your name's not Alan McGregor, and today your name is John Bull. Why he just did that? I think he's lost the plot. Got a little bit angry and just seen red, so he just fly kicked him, but yeah. That was a very weird moment that happened in the SPL. I mean, there's not a lot that goes on in the Scottish Premier League, but that happened. And of course, how could I? How could I leave out the legendary Ibrahimovic? Now, I'm not going to call this inappropriate because you shouldn't go anywhere near. Ibra, don't stand on his foot, don't disrespect him, don't don't look at him the wrong way. Because you will catch a clip on the back of the ear, and that's exactly what Ibrahimovic did, and I love it. I love it. Loved every little bit about it. It's Ibra for you, mate. You step on his foot, or you give him a bit of disrespect, and he will just give you a clip. He won't punch you, he'll do it elegantly. Just give you one of them. You deserved it. And yes, we have actually got Danny Rose, who starred in Tottenham's All or Nothing. I don't know if any of you have actually watched that. But what I witnessed, the way Danny Rose spoke to Jose Mourinho, I don't know if this guy will ever have a career in football ever again after this. This, if you haven't seen this, you're in for a treat. I play once every four weeks. Do you want me to be man of the match and you want me to be, give my, my best performance when I play one game and then I don't play again, again for three or four weeks? Other people have been shit in training, shit in games, but play every game and in the squad every game. And Daniel, I'm going to see Daniel as well. So when Daniel's in, tell me, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for him. I think you are, you are an honest guy. Yeah, you I am, but what's the problem? 